Welcome to Raynell.com. I posted this on Facebook and have got many responses to this box of cards. Uh, mostly they wanted to know how I made the box. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to share how I made this box. This was a box of assorted cards that I made with the end colors that are retiring. So today what we're going to do is we're going to roll the dice to find what color we're going to use. I enjoy doing this because I like Stampin' Up's colors and I always come out with a surprise, but such a delight in the way that the colors work. We're going to be using the new in colors. And if you have not got your hands on the new in colors, you're gonna wanna do this because they are beautiful. They're kind of, you know, this pink right here is called uh, Flirty Flamingo. And that's kind of the way I look at these colors. They're all just kind of uh, delightful. That's, uh, and that flirty name goes right along with these colors. We're also going to be using the Playful Palette Designer Series Paper. And this is just absolutely gorgeous and goes so well with the papers. Um, and I like the idea that they have black on one side and then colors on some of the other sides. So let's just roll the dice and let's see what color we're going to be working with today. Honestly, I, let me think about this because I only need two dice. I need one color for the um, for the cardstock, and I need one color for the playful uh, designer series paper. So I need a six, six, which I lost the six. There it is. So let's go number six down. One. Two, oh, I think I'll just uh, count it as the one design. One, two, three, four, five, and this is going to be our, our design. And that's it. That's going to be our paper that we're going to be working with today. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so our other number was three. We're going to be working with the number three. So, Dapper Denim, Envy Emerald, Pink, uh, Flirty Flamingo. And so that's going to be our card base today. So these are going to be the colors that we're going to be working with. Actually, I can see they're going to be pretty. So you're going to need an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. We're going to score that at two and four and three fourths. We're going to need a five by four and a half. And we're going to score this at two inches and one and a half inches. Then for the face, we're going to have a black mat. And we're going to keep that at four and a half by five and a quarter. Our pattern DSP is three and three fourths by five inches. We're also going to need a circle for the mat and for our center stamping. The uh, black mat is, um, the circle is two and a quarter and the mat is two and three fourths. Now I used my framelits to cut these, but this works great with your circle punches and uh, uh, or the new uh, circle framelits that uh, are nesting framelits that are just out, gonna be in the new catalog on June 1st. So to get started, let's go ahead and let's score our paper. I'm going to score our eight and a half by 11 sheet. I'm going to score it at two inches on the long way. I'm going to score it two inches. I'm going to flip it and I'm going to score at two inches. Now, the reason I flip it instead of going two inches here and going, um, it'd be six and a half, I believe. Um, instead of doing it at six and a half, it leaves that center section as exact as you can get it. These, uh, score lines take up room and so it gives you a more precise fold and then we're going to score it at four and three fourths i'm going to flip it again and i'm going to score it at four and three fourths that leaves this center section of which you can't see there it is the center section 
as precise as you can get it. Now to score the little uh, front portion, we're going. This is the length of the five inch length. We're going to score it at two inches and one and a half inches. So we're going to flip it and we're going to score it at one and a half inches. Starting with the eight and a half by eleven sheet, we're going to score all of our lines and use your bone folder, which makes precise folding. And I like things to turn like they're supposed to. Now, there are many YouTube videos out there on to doing the score. And what we're going to do is we're going to score it. And we're going to take this outside score lines. And we're going to bring that to the out edge fold. And I like to use my bone folder to hold it there. And while I move that directly... And then I take my bone folder and I score the insides. Now, it's a little difficult to see. And what that does is it makes our, our fold for our box. Now, do that on all four of these lines. Okay, now that's how we get our box. And it just folds in here. Now, this piece on the two inch fold, let's go ahead and fold our two inch, our score, uh, fold our score lines on. And now this is going to fit one half inch right in here. So we're going to take, and I use some uh, our tear and tape right along the edge. It is a good heavy duty tear and tape. On the inside. Then I'm going to fold these over and I'm going to glue these together on both sides. But I'm not going to do it in this fold. And you can if you wanted to. But I think it holds it well enough with uh, just this portion. Of course, you may find a better way to do this. There are a lot of YouTube videos out there. for our card boxes. And of course this will fold over. You know, I did that wrong. This is supposed to be attached on the short edge. So I'm going to use my undo and I'm going to take it all apart. Now, I don't know if you have used undo or not. I cannot live without this stuff because I do make mistakes. And this is the most wonderful stuff for taking the stick. Now, it does not work on glue, but on sticker stuff, it works great. See, it just peels the sticker right off of there, or the gluey part. So I'm going to let it dry a little bit, and then I'm going to attach the, the short edge to the back. Now that it's dried a little bit, I've added some new tear and tape on the edges, and now I'm going to use the short edge. See, it's two inches here and one and one and a half here. We're going to attach the one and a half inch portion onto the back of your card box. And then we're going to glue it down. And there we go. Now we've got it correctly. 
and it is the short edge here. We have more of the flap on the front where we will attach our mat. And that will be our next portion. We're going to attach our mat. And we're only going to attach it to the top portion. So I'm going to put a couple layers of the sticky strip. Not sticky strip, the tear and tape. The sticky strip is that pink kind. And it is a strong, strong holding too. And so it, I really have liked it as well. Especially on boxes, you need a little bit stronger adhesive. And then we're going to attach this, but I'm going to lay my box here and kind of get it even. And then I'm going to lay it on here so that I know exactly it's about one-fourth of an inch from the top. And then we're going to attach our designer series paper. Place that right in the middle. And then our white circle. I'm going to leave this because I'm not exactly sure what uh, stamp set I'm going to use to make this box. And then I will tie a ribbon around it just like I have done this box. And there is the new card box.